Hey there! In this lesson, we will be comparing and measuring lengths. Meet our friend Emma. She's doing some sightseeing in her new neighborhood. Walking along the streets, she noticed some tall buildings. But which of these three buildings is the tallest? Can you help her? Choose among building A, B, or C. That's right! Building C is the tallest. Great job! Her town is on the seaside, so she also came to see the ocean. Right now, she sees three ships on the ocean. Which one of them is the longest? Ship A, Ship B, or Ship C? The answer? Ship A! Her last stop is her neighbor's house. She heard that there are kids in the house, and she wants to meet them so she can have playmates. When she got there, she met Jamie, Chelsea, and Mike. Which one of them is the shortest? You got it! Chelsea is the shortest among the kids. It's time for Emma to go home. Let's thank her for helping us learn more about comparing lengths. Now. Let's move on to measuring lengths using smaller objects. For our first example, use the cameras to measure the length of the car. Let's line up the cameras below the car and count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The car is about six cameras long. Next, use the houses to measure the length of the airplane. Again, line up the houses below the airplane and count. One, two, three, four. Therefore, the airplane is four houses long. Lastly, use the dumbbells to measure the length of the ladder. If we line the dumbbells below the ladder, we will need to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dumbbells. So the ladder is about eight dumbbells long. There we have it. We have learned how to compare and measure lengths. Hope you had fun.